Since the first commercial installation of fiber optics for communication systems in 1975, fiber optic technology has evolved to fill thousands of applications in voice, video, and data communications. There are numerous advantages to using optical fiber, the most important of which is its enormous bandwidth. Today's bandwidth-hungry applications are forcing the migration to fiber because metallic transmission lines can no longer keep up. One reason for this is that fiber optic cables have extremely low transmission losses compared with the best copper conductors. In addition, signal attenuation in copper cables increases with frequency, so the more information you try to force through a copper conductor, the higher the losses. This effect is not nearly as pronounced in fiber optic cables. Because glass is an insulator, no electric current can flow through an optical fiber, and because the optical signal cannot pass between fibers, fiber optic cables are immune to both optical and electrical interference. Another of the finer attributes of fiber is its small size. Optical fibers are not much thicker than a human hair. Even when fibers are coated and incorporated in cable structures, they are far smaller and lighter than metallic cable. With the widespread proliferation of fiber optics, manufacturers have developed numerous types of fiber optic cables to meet the challenges of today's optical applications. The vast majority of optical fiber produced today is used in networking applications in LANs, SANs, MANs, and WANs. Emerging technologies in the Intelligent Transportation Systems, or ITS industry, use fiber optic cables for improved traffic flow, monitoring, and detection. Applications include closed-loop traffic signal control, variable message signs, traffic monitoring cameras, electronic toll collection, as well as various sensors and detectors. Fiber optics also finds extensive use in security networks. A tremendous increase in the number of security cameras, monitoring devices, and access controls has driven the installation of new fiber transmission systems around the world. Fiber optic cable provides a lightweight, lower cost, safer, and more efficient alternative to copper cables. Fiber has now become indispensable in many industrial and non-communication applications. Because heavy industrial machinery like motors, welders, and plasma torches create large amounts of EMI, optical fiber is the preferred choice in connecting computer to machine tool. Fiber optics are perfect for use in explosive environments present in chemical plants and oil refineries. Because fiber does not carry electric current or radiate energy, it is the safest and most efficient method for providing connectivity in these environments. While optical fibers are surprisingly strong and are difficult to break under tension, they are much more sensitive to bending and will break if bending becomes too severe. Fibers can only tolerate a moderate amount of bending, so it is critical not to exceed the fiber's recommended bend radius. As bend radius is exceeded, microfractures begin to form on the glass surface. Even if it does not break immediately from the bending, the microfractures have weakened the fiber so it may fail later, especially in the presence of moisture or during temperature changes. Fiber optics would not be practical if it were necessary to string individual fiber strands from one place to another. The cabling process bundles fibers in a tough weather and breakage resistant package. It is the role of the cable to protect the internal fibers while providing an organized structure for terminations and routing. Cables must be designed for a multitude of different applications which requires different internal structures and components. Cable designs also must reflect a balance between the needs of the user and those of the installer. For a particular application, the cable must be cost-effective, allowing for fast, efficient placement while being easy to prepare, splice, and terminate. The design and manufacturing of communications cable has rapidly evolved over the past 30 years as the industry perfects its expertise in working with the raw materials that form jackets, armor, rip cords, buffer tubes, and other cable components. Cables are divided into two broad categories, outdoor styles and indoor styles. Those used in outdoor environments must provide protection from extreme weather conditions and thermal changes as well as intense solar radiation. Depending on the application, the cable may also be strengthened to provide resistance to high tensile loading or armored to prevent attacks from rodents and other animals. With indoor cables, the main concern is complying with national electric and fire codes. 
These codes strictly regulate the types of materials that can be used in cable to reduce flame spread and the evolution of toxic smoke in the event of a fire. The continued development of optical fiber has driven the evolution of improved cables that provide better access and organization during splicing and terminations. Tighter fiber tolerances has made possible the development of ribbon fiber, which has resulted in cables with very large fiber counts. Ribbon fiber technology has now emerged as the impetus for more compact cable designs, which coupled with mass splicing techniques can save an enormous amount of time and money. Other improvements to cable designs include indoor-outdoor cables, which can lower costs by bypassing the traditional splice at entrance facilities. New microduct cables for increasing the capacity of inner ducts, while continuing improvements to cable elements are making mid-entry techniques easier. In the following chapters, we'll look at the various types of fiber optic cable, their applications, internal structures, how they are manufactured, and how they are prepared for use.